Over the last 50 years, the Algarve has become one of the premier destinations in world golf for amateurs and professionals. With over 40 golf courses to choose from, its fairways attract hundreds of thousands of golfers all year round. So we've come to discover the Algarve and find out exactly what's on offer at some of its finest venues. Over this two-part series, we'll be taking a look at some of the best spots to play golf in the world, all handedly placed in one sun-beaten region of Portugal. We begin here at Panina Golf Club, where it all started in the region. It opened for golf in 1966, after Englishman John Stilwell had the idea to turn this area from a sun-beaten region into a golfing mecca and attract tourists from all over the world. Salvador, it is awesome to be out here playing the very first golf course in the Algarve. Is it anything like it was 50 years ago? Yes, actually it is. It's a design that stood up the test of time. It's pretty flat, you can walk around it. But yes, it still has a lot of challenge to it. We are on the first tee. There's a couple of hazards I'm a little bit wary of. What's the yardage of this hole and how would you play it? Well, from the yellow tees, it's 391 meters, so it's quite long. You can either try to hit a driver with a bit of draw or play it more safe and hit a three wood and try position instead of distance. It's funny you should say that because that's exactly what I've got in my hand. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> three wood it is. Okay, let's go for it. This course has got a really interesting history. Was it originally a rice field? Yes, you're right. It was a rice field. And um, the former owners of, the, of, uh, of this land, the Steelwell family, had the vision to uh, transform, transform this, this land, a rice field, into a golf course. That's not easy to do. Dams need to be built because actually this, this course, golf course, it's just underneath the sea level. Okay. So they need to, be, to build dams. And the eucalyptus trees, you can see it's typical around this golf course, quite water absorbing. Ah, okay. So they dry up all, all the water from the, from the ground, from the soil, mm -hmm. and it helps to the grass to be uh, more drier and the, the, the land to be more proper to have a golf course. So nothing here was planted by accident? No, ex Good actually stuff. not. Right, let's yeah. go and find your ball. I've got a four iron. Okay. I usually hit a five iron, but like I said, it's the first hole. I don't want, I don't want to push it, yeah. try to hit it 100%. Ooh, yes. I think that is pretty good. Oh, you're on the green. On the green. Thank you so much for showing me around Panina. The history is fantastic and it's an absolutely lovely course. Thank you. You're very welcome to come back whenever you want. Shall do. Next up is a short drive through the Western Algarve countryside to a very special coastal golf club. Oneria Palmarej is a Robert Trent Jones Jr. course. Designed in three returning loops of nine holes means that multiple rounds here can result in a very different experience. So I'm going to head out there and see exactly what it's all about. So we are on hole number four of this round, which is called Alvor. Alvor is the name of that estuary. Uh, so you'll see tides coming up and down very often. When Robert Trent Jones came to this spot, he says, there's a golf hole hill here that was given us by God. So just clearing uh, some trees and the hole is there. I think I'm going to take a driver off the tee, but how would you go about attacking this one? You just want to land your drive in the middle. The first one, the second shot, maybe a layup with mid iron. And then you make sure you have on the pre-shot uh, pre routine, something like this, <laughs> to land a soft pitching wedge into the green. Easy as that, let's go for it. We are middle of the fairway, got about 250, 300 yards. It's quite a threatening shot, this. A lot of bunkers protecting the green. What would you suggest? A uh, deep breath, <laughs> looking at the nice views and just laying up straight in the middle. Well, further down. Well, that is a great little hole. Another wonderful spot here out on the course. Now, this is the 19th tee. Don't normally get a 19th tee. Explain <laughs> this one to us. This one is not for beer. Uh, we have three times nine holes. So Parkland, Heathland and Lynx. So this is the introduction to the Lynx. The view's spectacular. And is that Lagos over there? That's Lagos. Mm -hmm. It ends at Ponta de Piedad. 
and the Maya Praia beach, which is uh, four kilometers with white sand. I'm now moving on from the western Algarve into the central region. Easily accessible by car from Faro Airport, it has some absolute gems. Val de Lobo is an absolute must visit for any golf fanatic coming to the Algarve. There are two championship courses, which means 36 glorious holes to be played. So we're heading there now to see if it really is as good as it sounds. We're here on the 16th tier of the Royal Course and what a stunning view. This must be a golfer's dream for anyone who plays here. It is, it is. All the golfers who visit us in Val d'Oro, they want to play this hole. And this is a fantastic view, as you can see. I think every player, they try to go for the green, no matter their handicap. That's the first ball, they always try to go there. Well, other than this stunning hole and these views, what else is it that makes Val de Lobo such a special place to play golf? We have two fantastic golf courses. This is just one of the holes. On the ocean, we have fantastic holes as well. We have three kilometers of beach just in front of the resort. You have a lot of choices. There are two courses here. This is yeah. the Royal Course. How does this one play? Is it tricky? Is it good for all golfers? On the ocean, you have more space for mistakes. Here, you need to play really good. The course originally was designed by Sir Eric Cotton, the first nine holes in 68. And then he designed the second nine on the ocean that make the 18, and then he designed nine more that we integrated in 1997 on the Royal. So the original design is from Sir Eric Cotton. And then Rock Rockmore in 97 designed the last nine that we used to build the Royal. From Val de Lobo, it's just a short skip to another of the heavyweights of the region and a world-class venue. Quinta de Lago is one of the best known resorts in the region with three courses. The South Championship course, the Laranjal and the North course which has recently been renovated. Paul Welling and Paul McGinley got together and redesigned the course. It's three years this October and they took ten months to rebuild it. It's a very attractive hole but I can't not notice this huge lake that I have to clear first. <laughs> Roughly how far is it over the other side and then how would you approach the rest of the hole? I'm sorry to say it's only 120 metres <laughs> okay, to carry the water, <laughs> so you should be okay. Um, but it, dog legs to the right and it's from the, the ladies tee here, 500 yards. Uh -huh. So it's a comfortable par five. Just judging by the condition of this course, it doesn't surprise me, but you've had some of the biggest players in the world practicing here. Rory, Tiger, tell me a bit about that. Well, Rory, Rory came out just after he uh, hurt his foot playing football and went straight from here to playing in the PGA Championship in, in the States. It was tremendous work by his, uh, his team and uh, we're very happy that he picked uh, Quinta de Largo to, uh, to do his rehab. Good swing. That'll do nicely. Next time we visit the courses of the Eastern Algarve where breathtaking beauty meets championship quality golf.